You know, as someone who also identifies as an anthropomorphic dragon, I too also found PewDiePie's song Bitch Lasagna to be very offensive when he called himself a blue eyes white dragon and that T-Series was a dark magician. I found that very offensive because how dare he refer to himself as a dragon? Does this, this man look like a dragon to you? No, I didn't think so. He doesn't refer to me as a dragon. He refers to me as a little chihuahua dog, like a little bitch. <laughs> With the sarcasm out of the way, let me just get this one thing straight. Yeah, PewDiePie has made a lot of dark jokes before in the past. He has one time on occasion said the n-word before. It was a mistake that he made that he has since apologized for. The thing you have to realize about PewDiePie is whenever he made dark jokes, it was meant for the sake of a joke, right? It was a bit. It doesn't mean that PewDiePie is a racist. He's never tried to imply it in any way with any of his jokes that he was, in fact, racist towards some ethnicity group. He has never tried to imply that. He's never tried to make an offensive joke for the sake of hurting people because of their ethnicity or what they identify as. He's never tried to do, do that before, ever in his entire life. Dexterno made a post with a video about him being in his loving husband and father era, and people proceeded to take that and spin this whole narrative that he was a racist by taking lyrics from his music videos that he made against T-Series before a few years ago, and they tried to spin them towards a narrative that he was in fact trying to have racist implications. But if you look at the lyrics, it's pretty obvious that he was just trying to take a jab towards T-Series himself because they're a fucking mega corporation who were exploding in popularity and gaining millions and millions of subscribers because they're in a nation that has like billions of people in there and they were exploding popularity and it was just a fucking race of who can keep being the number one most subscribed YouTube channel. Like his line of, guess to beat one Swedish boy, you need a billion Asians. That's not a, a joke or that's not a racist joke towards the fact that it was a bunch of Indians subscribing to an Indian YouTube channel. It's not a racist remark towards Asian people. It's not anything. It's just a remark that the fact that they needed, quote unquote, needed T-Series, needed a whole bunch of Indian people to subscribe to their YouTube channel to beat PewDiePie at being the number one most subscribed YouTube channel. And then there's another line where he calls himself a blue eyes white dragon like I had already referenced in the beginning of the video. But the whole joke in reference is that the blue eyes white dragon in Yu-Gi-Oh has a higher attack power than the dark magician. And if you know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, if a card has a higher attack power than the other, it destroys the card with a lower attack power. That's just simply how the game works. And if you didn't understand the reference, then clearly you just didn't understand it. And that's fine. You don't have to understand the joke. You don't even have to like dark humor. That's fine. If you didn't find the joke funny, then you didn't find the joke funny. It's whatever. But to try to spin this whole entire narrative, and they've been trying to do this for a while, people on Twitter specifically, they've been trying to spin this whole narrative that PewDiePie is a huge bigot and that he's racist and that he hates uh, like Asian people, he hates other people of other ethnic groups, he doesn't believe in trans people. All this fucking bullshit, right? All this dumb, stupid shit that people have been trying to spin for years now. And it's just not true. PewDiePie isn't this awful, horrible human being that people have been trying to call him for many years now. It's just, it's ridiculous that they even tried to do this again, all over again. I don't really know what else to explain. If you didn't understand a the joke, then that's fine. If you don't like the joke, then that's also fine. But to try to defame him for simply just enjoying his life, because if you really just look at the at the implications that people are talking about, they're just miserable people, right? These people on Twitter are just absolute miserable fucking human beings, and they're jealous that PewDiePie has this beautiful life, this beautiful family, and they wish they could have it, but they don't. And so they have to be angry about something, and so they drive their anger towards someone who just didn't even deserve it, really. Anyways, that's besides the point. That's all I really have to say about the situation. People on Twitter are miserable. They hate PewDiePie for no actual real reason. They'll find any reason to support their anger, but most of the time it doesn't actually make any fucking sense. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I was a little late on talking about this subject because I was busy doing a whole bunch of other stuff in my personal life, especially the 4th of July, because that was a few days ago. Yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on in my life so far. Maybe, hopefully later this week, I'll have another video talking about something else. If something comes up, I'll talk about it. But that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace. Drop that